Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Here we go again I'm Aksan And now I would like to show you about How to test validity and reliability Using SPSS So here we go Well, before we start testing the data We should first prepare the SPSS And the Microsoft Excel Like this here, I use this data. Um, actually, when the data is shown in the form of a statement like strongly agree, agree, neutral, and so on, we should first change the data into numbers like this. But my, my data have already uh, shown in form of a number. So, I... I just do the next step. Well, the first, we should calculate all the numbers by blocking the table like this from the beginning into the ending. But don't forget to add one more tables at the right side to place your total later so after we blocked like this we go to the formulas and click the auto sum like this we find we find the total and the next before we go to the SPSS, we should copy all the numbers and the total of the numbers that we have already calculated before. We copy and open the SPSS. After that, paste all the copied all the copied data to the SPSS. And here is the display. We find the data like this. And next, um, we should change the name of the variables become X by uh, click the variable view like this and uh, click the name and then uh, we can block the column like this and then press the button control plus F to open the replace dialog box now here is the the box and choose the replace menu type VAR triple zero and in find in find box and then write or type x in replace box and then click replace all like this then we find the data like this nevertheless don't forget to change the last table with total total and after that come back to the data view to test the oh, the validity just click the analyze and correlate and bivariate so in this dialog box you can press control plus a button then move all the variables to the right side like this and make sure that the person is checked and then click ok 
Well, we find them. The person correlation shows the validity number, and the sig two tailed here shows the significance of the data. And the n here shows the numbers of the item. Well, let's look at the total at the end of the table. We remember that the test called as valid when the person shows the number higher, the number higher than our table. Here I show the person is more than 0 0.433 because I use the 0.5% percent and therefore this data is valid. Well, um, another way to know whether the data is valid or not is by seeing at the significance. The data is called valid when the significance is no more than 0 0.05, where here is uh, the significance number. Well, let's go to the test. Uh, let's go to test the reliability by using the same data source. So, in in the the data view, click analyze, then scale, then reliability analysis. Next, move all the variables except the total to the right side, like this. And keep the alpha model and then click OK. Here it is. Here it is. The test is called reliable when the corn batch alpha is more than 0 0.6. And here shown that it more it is more than 0 0.6. Well, Thank you for watching. Hopefully this video is useful for you. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Bye. See you.